hey guys welcome so in this story it's very heartbreaking so and um it's it has made me you know have the doubts whether you know to be good is good because most of the time showing good or doing good always bring back you know bad results people don't really appreciate the good you offer so they tend on you know bringing you know bad as to repay you this is just like you know um most nollywood movies so this is a story of a 36 years old nurse she's you know she's a nurse in the kawambia district she is a loving caring kind you know outspoken soft-spoken you know anything nice for a nurse you know the good ones not the ones you know you think they are the devil's incarnate so actually she's she's she's, she's just a good person and um she bought a house she got an apartment in her village at the uh, Philope area so because of those are good deeds and kindness she bought it close to a market so we normally um occasionally she goes to the market and you know to get some things so on this certain day she went to the market as usual a young boy caught her eye david chishiba all right so david chishiba caught her eyes and she was like you know she had this compassion and kindness for the boy and the boy was you know doing menial you know jobs to also cater and bring something to the family So she, it was said that she went to the family of this boy, went to his dad, whose name is also David Chishiba Senior. Yeah, so that we can differentiate them in this story. So David Chishiba Senior, which is dad, which so Miss Kafunda told him that she is interested in boys. She just have compassion for this boy. She doesn't maybe you know the father will allow allow her take the boy in. You know be like a foster parent for this boy and train you know that what she had in mind was to train this boy in school and so that he can be a better person in the society but she was wrong very wrong it's like she picked the wrong child you don't know and that's why i say when you're doing good to somebody you don't actually know who the person is all right so the father agreed and the boy moved in and started staying with you know miss Miss Kafunda. Now it wasn't stated here if she was married or not, right? It wasn't stated in the story whether she was married or not. But let's say she was single. So both of them was staying in the house. Um, she enrolled. She enrolled Davy in school, and um, you know bought him books and everything, paid school fees, fed him, kept care for him, and occasionally Davy. You know go back goes to go and visit the parents so it's not as if she adopted him and you know, take full custody of him no he also he got time to time she, he goes to visit his parents all right so all what kafunda did for him was to you know pay shelter clothing pay for school fees and you know all what the guy david needs to do was to you know read and come out with good grades so years passed like after six years um, that miss kafunda took in this boy so david is now becoming a man because miss kafunda in had started you know observing his behavior that has started changing so this david is not the sweet boy she took in into her house years back so this guy has started you know becoming a man and behaviors have started changing you know he comes home late smokes taking had some stands move out with some groups of friends all right so we don't really know but what we know is that she complains to aunt in the hospital and also she complains to people around that you know they are aware that she took this boy in from their family to you know to cater for him so she reported this um these changes and this boy's behavior 
to people around, all right? People that know about them. So on this very day, it was said that um, on a spawn night, she was in her room, okay? She was in her room. She, they went to bed and she was in her room sleeping. And all of a sudden, she felt like someone was beside her. And when she opened her eyes, it was Davy. Right? It was Davy beside her, tried to, you know, have with Miss Kafunda, right? Her guardian, somebody who take him in to cater for him. All right. She was he was trying to, you know, have his way with her. So it was said that she rebuked him and you know sent him back to the room. So many sources had it that he tried this many times all right he tried it many times and likewise she didn't you know if it were other women that this happened to him. that very night you're going back to your father's house yeah how can somebody i bought in take care of you for many years and you're now becoming a man you want to pay me back by you know having a relationship with me no so but she didn't she just let it slide but she reported it to her aunt again to reported it to her aunt and also reported it to people around that look at what this boy is trying to do so she decided to also go reports to his father mr david uh, chesiba senior and reported the issue and his behaviors and changes that has been occurring so but it wasn't stated you know sources didn't get it whether she you know told him everything and about the you know trying to have his way with miss kafunda all right i'm not sure we're not sure if she actually you know reported that so she both of them agreed all right she told him that it is time she told the father that it is time for him to come back and you know come back and stay with the parents peacefully you know, after staying, bringing somebody into your house and stayed for over six years, she was trying to, you know, give him a good, you know, send off so they can, you know, part ways peacefully so that, you know, one of her occasionally she can go visit and the boy can also come visit. So she wanted an happy ending, but this boy mm -mm, doesn't want an happy ending for Miss, for their relationship and all. So the father, it was said that the father was angry, but also agreed that after his final exams, that he will be, you know, he will be coming back to the family. So on the 27th of November, 2021, that was when he was to write his final papers. So, and on that day, something tragic happened to Miss Kafunda. So it was said that on that day, after they went to bed, so on that night, the guy, um, Davy, came into the room and forced himself on Miss Kafunda. So it was said that he raped her, but she he didn't do it alone. So he had somebody, an accomplice, that, you know, they did it together. So, and that person, it was the father who came in and assisted him that night. So, after they had raped her, they forced her to write a note, all right? They forced her to write a note and killed her, took her out of the house, burnt her with tires. So, she was burnt beyond recognition. We all know how tire burned, you know, the motor tires. We all know how they burned. They burned very well. So they burn her beyond recognition and, you know, put her in a bag and threw, her, um, threw the remains into the bottom, into a trash, you know, like a hole where they throw dirty, where they throw dirt. So they covered her, threw her inside, covered her with dirt and everything. The next day, she was to report to work, but she didn't. So at the, hosp at the hospital there, at her aunt, she was like, okay, maybe she wasn't she's not feeling fine or you know 
she just wants to take the day, day the day off so after some days like three to four days they didn't see her at work and they tried calling her phone wasn't going through so the aunt had to you know report the case to the police you know and it has also started causing reaction and people everywhere because everything that happened in the house she always tells it you know reports to the aunt and also some people uh some friends within the area so after they reported to the police the police came to the house and found davy the david jr in the house and when they did um search and everything and everything in the house they discovered a note in her room and the note was um what she was what was written on the note we don't know if actually we don't really actually know if it was her that wrote the note or it was davy all right so what was written on the note is that is that um she said she stated on the note that she was raped and she felt bitter for herself and she's going to the nearby bush uh, the nearby farm the nearby bush to end it all for herself all right so she wrote that and also she also stated that 10 percent of her property should be given to davy davy jr all right so the police went to the farm went to the bush and searched and searched and searched so if she had you know actually gone to the farm to commit suicide at least they would see her body there in the bush right so if she had hung herself or you know stabbed herself or anyhow she committed suicide they would have seen the body there but when they got to the bush they searched and searched no no corpse was found her body was not found in the bush so they had to come back to the house and did a total search so as they were searching they discovered some remains some human remains in the bag they took it to the kawambia district for you know to run some tests and they discovered that it was miss kafunda so speculations and suspects and people like come on who did this and the only person in the house was Davy. So with all this and um, you know suspects and everybody was talking and you know who so the police said you know talk spoke with themselves that who would gain from this from this from her death because somebody have to, you don't kill you don't just kill somebody just like that we have something to gain. So remember it was stated on the later that 10% of her property should be given to Davy. All right? So Davy is like a suspect here now because he is gaining something from her death. So the police arrested him that come on you are like the number one suspect here. You are the only one who is to gain 10% from her property. Her aunt knows everything and about the the attempted rape and everything so she also told the police about that so that is like you know you're the you're the suspect here you are like you're guilty as charged your behavior changed you started smoking coming home late and also attempted to rape miss kafunda so the police decide that you know this is a this is the guy this is their man so with questioning and everything they questioned and how did it happen and everything so it was discovered that the accomplice also was his father. So that is how they arrested both Davy and the father, you know, for the mother of Miss, for the gruesome mother of Miss Kafunda. Well, that's the story. But to me, like this woman is she's she's like she's too nice because after you discover that this guy has started smoking with bad behavior that alone will like you know prompt you to like let this boy go but instead you keep on harboring him you know bearing and saying it is well it is well and it's well and then this guy tried to rape you like try to force himself on you have his way with you and you are like you still keep him and still you know take things with ease so this is how as in like this is like bringing out the word um, the saying that um 
no good deeds go unpunished because this woman was like everything good to this guy is like a parent and this woman provide everything a life for this boy but at the end she was paid with debts hmm? so is it that it's no more good to be good is it that whenever you do good you bad no bad things happen and is it that good things don't actually last so let me get your thoughts concerning this on the comment section keep on watching crime focus on rate tv i'm your guy mose subscribe turn on your notification button for more updates